of spice overdoses is keeping the Tippecanoe Emergency Ambulance Service more than busy. The ambulance service has responded to 60 overdoses of spice in just over two months. News 18's Brittany Tyner joins us now and reports that means there's almost one spice overdose a day. Brittany? Dan, last year during this same time, from July 1st to now, emergency responders were called to 20 spice-related overdoses. That's why red flags have shot up since that number has tripled. And because there's a lot of unknowns with spice, there's a lot of unknowns about how patients will react. When an ambulance with the Tippecanoe Emergency Ambulance Service rolls out of the garage, emergency responders are prepared for a wide range of calls. But recently, there's a good chance they're off to a spice overdose. Since July 1st of this year till current, uh, we've had 105 overdose type calls. 60 of those alone were spice related. Director Daryl Clay says that's three times more than the same time last year when there were 20 overdoses of spice. Last week, emergency responders went to six spice overdoses in a single day. Clay says since the chemical makeup of spice is often unknown, patients react differently, some become aggressive. With the spice uh, that we're seeing in our area, uh, we're seeing some extremely aggressive and extremely violent patients. And out of the 60 calls alone uh, for spice in the last couple months, we've had uh, documentation where EMS has been battered 15 times. The overall number of calls is also up for the ambulance service. Clay says at this time last year, they had nearly 11,200 calls. So far this year, that number has reached nearly 12,500 calls. He says to help handle the calls, a sixth ambulance is now running Monday through Friday. So we're hoping with the, uh, the addition of that truck, we can lower the, uh, the number of times that we've had to reach out to the outlying services. And at this point in time, uh, we're just monitoring over the next couple, two, three months, how that's going to uh, even out for us. The new ambulance crew will join five others, one that runs 12 hours and four that run 24 hours a day. Daryl Clay says talks are already in place to possibly add another crew at the beginning of next year. Brittany Tyner, News 18. All right, Brittany, thank you.